Well, the healing process has begun for students and staff here at Stillwater Junior High one day after one of their students turned the gun on himself. Calm and subdued. Um, everyone is trying to get back to normal, but they know it's weighing on their heart and their mind. And uh, we're just trying to begin the healing as best as we can. And possibly understand why 13 year old Kate Poulos would turn a gun on himself inside the school. When they brought him to school, he was happy. He had plans for. Uh, uh, after school to go to one of the churches has a teen event. Superintendent Ann Kane wanted students back in the classroom today to help them talk over their fears and pain. I'm kind of nervous because I don't think our school will be the same. We've had parents call the office this morning and ask to speak to their child. They just want to hear it, their voice. I was in shock that it happened in my school. She says claims that Pulos was a victim of bullying are false. The family reassured us yesterday and um, it's been on several networks that um, there was not bullying in this instance. Kane says bullying happens at schools across the nation and it's become a buzzword. But this tragedy was not. For the time being, her focus is on moving kids forward. We're just going to be basing it on healing. You know, what everyone needs something a little differently to heal. And so we'll just evaluate and figure out what do we need to do so we're taking care of our people. The school is providing counselors for both students and teachers. Reporting from Stillwater, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you.